Alright mga friends So problema mo ba ang malalaking bilbil? Yung malalaking bilbil mo na yan, problema mo ba yan? Nafo-frustrate ka na rin ba? At nagawa mo na halos ang lahat ng klase ng diet Pero hindi mo mapalit-lit ang bilbil mo? Napakaswerte mo ngayon, nandito ka sa video na to And yan ay share ko sa inyo Alright? Stay until the end of the video and you'll know Three easy steps Tatlo lang Tatlo lang mga friends Ang pwede mong magawa at ang dapat mong gawin at sigurado ko this time around magiging successful ka in losing that belly fat. Okay? Stay and watch until the end of the video. Okay, so welcome back. So if this is your first time uh, in my channel, uh, please make sure to uh, click on that. Saan ba yun? Dito? Diyan? 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 Hindi ko na alam. Basta i-click mo na lang yan. Kung nasan man yan, no? Click mo na lang yung subscribe button dyan. At huwag mo rin kalimutan i-hit yung notification bell, ha? Para you always get notified of all the new videos that I'm posting on a weekly basis. Alright? Alright, mga friends. So, let's start with first step kung paano mo papaliit yung bilbil mo. Ayan. So, simple lang. The first step that you need to do is, ito usually, baka piling ko alam mo na ito, no? Um, ang first step mo is caloric deficit. Caloric deficit. Ano ibig sabihin niya? Simple lang. At itong step na to is very crucial and very um, important to complete the three steps na isashare ko sa'yo. Right? At yung pangatlong step something very important and that will fast track your success in losing that belly fat or yung bilbil mo. Okay? But the very first step is crucial and important also. So, ano yun siya? Caloric deficit. So, you have to understand that um, for you to become successful in losing that belly fat or yung pagpapalit ng bilbil is kailangan bawasan mo yung caloric intake mo. Now, say for example, uh, on a daily basis, um, your basal or basic metabolic rate is somewhere about 1,500 calories. No? So, yung katawan mo kinukonsume yung 1,500 calories every day. And you've sustained that for the longest time. Now, for you to be able to be successful, number one is bawasan mo dapat yung calorie intake mo. So, if you're taking 1,500 in your normal daily um, eating habits, so dapat bawasan mo siya. So, from 1,500, maybe bawasan mo na 1,200, 1,300. Um, to some extent, yung ibang mga nagsisimula automatic 500 calories kagad yung binabawas nila. To ensure uh, that they will start to take out that belly fat. So, that's the very first step. Caloric deficit. Alright. So, yung pangatawa naman, yung pangalawang step natin would be, um, ito importante ito. No? Before I say the number two is, you have to understand first the process that na meron tayo sa katawan. No? Ano yung process na sinasabi ko? Um, if you've been doing a lot of diet already and you have not been successful still up until this time na pinapanood mo itong video ko na ito, there's only one reason kung bakit um, hindi nababawasan or hindi nawawala totally yung bilbil mo. It's because you have not done your diet for a very long time or it's either you've done it incorrectly also. So you have to understand that the body has a different process in terms of paggamit ng fats sa katawan. Alright? So, understand first. So, usually, ang pag-burn ng fat starts with mobilization. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung ano yung parte ng katawan mo na madalas na nagagalaw at gumagalaw in terms of your daily activities, tendencies are, and this is based on science and studies, mas naunang nauubos yung mga tabak dun sa mga lugar na yun. Ano tong mga lugar na to na usually naubusan ng, tab ng tabak agad or kinukuhanan ng fats ng katawan natin to, to, to use as energy. So, number one would be kinukuha niya ng gagaling sa mga arms natin. No? Kinukuha yan sa arms. Anong sunod? Yung face nyo. Kaya siguro pag minsan, nag, pag nagda-diet kayo at nagpaapay at napapansin nyo na mas naunang lumiliit yung, yung muka. Na, 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 yung parang nakaganto. No? Okay. 
So ayan na. Tapos syempre, sa mga subdivide na part, no? So ayan yung mga first three parts ng katawan uh, na kinukuha na ng, ng body natin, ng sistema, in terms of fats. So ang nahuhuli na this time around is yung chan, yung bilbil. Kaya lang, ang tendency kasi is ang process nga ng katawan is matagal yan siya bago pumunta sa bilbil. It's because yung daloy ng dugo is very slow sa bilbil. Ang usually dadaanan muna kagad would be yung sa kamay, sa muka, at sa ibang parte ng katawan. So, any area na hindi dinadaanan ng mabilis na daloy ng dugo or yung blood flow, kaya ang hirap-hirap at to the point na nako first straight ka na in terms of pagtatanggal ng bilbil. So, second is increasing mobilization. Now, ano yung second step? no? Simple lang, you have to understand the process of how long will it take before your body starts taking fat from your bilbil. So, usually, it would take somewhere about um, 3 to 4 months before you start or your body starts getting fat sa bilbil mo. If you're continuously doing yung first step, which is the foundation, which is yung caloric deficit. Right? So, there is only a certain amount of fats na ititira ng katawan mo sa may arms area, sa chest area, sa face area, kasi hindi na pwede totally ubusin lahat yan. Otherwise, wala na siyang protective tissue na ipoprotect yung mga muscles mo um, for any harmful activities. So, if fats in itself is also important. But it's just so happened that since yung blood flow sa belly is very uh, very slow at hindi, halos hindi masyadong nagdadaan doon, so hinuhuli talaga ng katawan yan. Ngayon, pag naubos na ng katawan yung sa, sa, sa arms, sa face, at other parts of your body, ang next na niyan would be sa bilbil. So that's the second step. Understand the process. Now, uh, I want you to stay until the third step because this trick alone will help you fast track that process. At usually, itong gusto na marami sa mga tao, no? Yung pabilisan na lahat ng proseso. Okay. So, yun yung pangatlong step natin uh, na kailangan mo gawin. So, ang tawag ko dito is targeting specific area. So, which is target natin this time around, yung belly fat. Kung paano natin ang mapapabilis, yung daloy ng dugo. At pag merong daloy ng dugo, maganda yung oxygen na dumadaloy dyan. So, yung fat burning uh, process also starts happening faster. And yung 4 weeks na sinasabi ko, 4, uh, sorry not 4 weeks, but 4 months, 3 to 4 months na sinasabi ko usually takes time before niya kumuha ng fat sa chan, pwede natin siya i-shorten, right? And that's the, that's the trick, no? Yan yung trick na ituturo ko sa, sa third step. Okay, so let's start with third step na kailangan mong gawin para ma-fast track mo ang pagbabawas ng uh, bilbil mo. So, ang tawag ko dito is targeting specific area. So, sabi ko kanina in terms of second step is um, it takes a while understanding the process kung kailan magsisimula yung katawan mo magbawas ng bilbil or ng fats galing sa belly fat mo. Now, um, once you have understand that, ito na yung pangalawa, papabilisin natin siya. Ang sikreto is kailangan mag-increase tayo ng blood flow. Tama? Kailangan ma-increase natin yung blood flow sa part ng ganito sa bilbil. Okay? So, ano dapat mong gawin para maging successful dyan? Simple lang. Uh, ang basic would be is pahirapan mo muna yung bilbil mo. Ano ibig ko sabihin dyan? Do few crunches. Maybe um, 20, 50 uh, crunches um, sa bahay or kahit saan lugar ka or whatever. So, do that. Um, 20, 50 crunches uh, or sit-ups, ab crunches. Yan, gawin mo yan siya. By doing that exercise, mararamdaman mo umiinit yung sa may belly area mo, sa may bilbil mo na part ng area. At habang nararamdaman mo init yun, ibig sabihin yung blood flow, umaandar ng matindi. So, bumibilis ngayon yung takbo ng oxygen na dadala niya sa buong katawan at ginagamit na energy. And then, do 10 minutes of cardio, basic cardio lang, uh, low to moderate walking, of at least 10, maximum, um, siguro 5, maximum 10 minutes. And if you do that process at least 4 times a week, and if you can do it further, I'm very positive na mas papabilis mo ang pagbabawas mo 
ng bilbil dyan sa chan mo. Okay? So mga friends, yan yung tatlong steps na kailangan mo pwede mo magawa at maintindi han, para mas mabilis, mabawala o mawawala yung bilbil mo. Okay? So I hope you learned something today in this video. And if you did, uh, please help me share this video to your friends and families. Uh, palawakin natin yung pwede natin matulungan in starting to have a healthy physical fit lifestyle. Alright?